Folks, welcome back. Today we're going to fix some washout issues that we have going on right near the gate. And you can see it going right up the hill behind me on both sides of the driveway. And so this is really a multi-step solution. And the first thing we did is uh, bring in some more dirt and kind of feather these retaining walls, so to speak, kind of the guards to the entrance a little bit up this way. And then what we're going to do right now is we're going to take the bucket just the front end loader bucket, your typical bucket, and kind of cut a ditch all the way up to the source where we start to see this washout begin. I think that'll fix everything that's downstream from that. The final step of the solution we need to do though, and, and we've had this coming for a while, is add more stone. We've been crowning everything, and so you can see it's working well, the crown, because it's washing that, that rain off to the sides instead of letting it pool in the middle and run up everything else. But we just don't have enough material out here. So as we add material and get this crown baker, we'll kind of naturally stem it or feather it right into the, the drainage ditch. So those low points just kind of take and carry the water away to both sides. We don't have to worry about any of this continued washout on the driveway. Now I brought the land plane down as well, thinking that I would come through and uh, do some grading afterwards, but we just need to add more material. This isn't gonna do a whole lot of good right now. In fact, loosening it up further may compound the problem. Basically, this is just helping serve as ballast weight today. Once we get in more stone, We'll put the plan to work. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. folks after a quick test this just is not going to work today it's crazy how the ground just dries out hardens up and you know we did this recently out in the field there they're comparing different tools to ditch and the bucket works amazingly well sliced right through it the ground just happened to be soft at that time today it is hard as a rock so I'm gonna go grab the stump bucket see if that treats us any better a different type of ditch you know we'll probably come back later on probably after we get all the the finished stone the top stone everything um, dressed out on here and, and kind of finish it off and clean it up and make it look nice but the primary purpose right now is preventing this washout from happening so we're going to see if that stump bucket treats us any better
Alrighty folks, well there you have it. You know, I was actually, uh, I kind of lucked out there. I, I like to use a stump bucket when I can. It's my own product that I make, so it works really well in this application. And you know, I had no intentions of using it. I mean, the, the regular bucket can do a good job and we showed that previously, but it just dried up really hard out here and gets like concrete. And so with a stump bucket like this, it's a different way of digging a ditch or a, a swale or a trench or whatever you wanna call it. But it got the job done because instead of one huge long, you know, 50 some inch edge that it's trying to push against, it's using all that weight that's behind there on just a small nine inch area. And so it can really dig and power through even the really hard stuff like what you see here. And so the more I use it, the more I like it for this kind of an application. And I'm starting to get the hang of kind of using this back plate as almost a little mini dozer. Not that you're treating it really like that, but just to kind of clean up the stuff that spills out as you're trenching through. It works really well for that too. I'm still on the original uh, replaceable cutting edge, by the way. So that's made out of AR400 steel. It's supposed to be strong, but it is still the weak point on this bucket. So that if something does give, it's just gonna be the replaceable edge, which they're 25, 30 bucks, something like that. Not too bad versus having to damage the whole bucket or damage the loader arms. A lot of thought went into this bucket design is what I'm trying to say. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You know, we're gonna see how it does after it rains. We want this to, to work as intended and I think it's going to. We're supposed to get some rain. Uh, it's in the forecast for tomorrow anyway, so maybe we'll check back in it on tomorrow or at least sometime soon. Uh, I'm sure it'll rain again uh, fairly soon as well. But the other step again is to add more stone, more gravel, raise this up. Now, we went down before we go up, right? That means we, we stripped off a lot of topsoil here, put a good base in, which is what we're standing on now, and then have to put our top layer on too. So we will get this higher. That'll help aid with the water runoff where we want it to go along with these ditches. Now again, this mini stump bucket here was designed specifically for subcompacts and small compact tractors. We do have the HD version coming out really soon as well. So you can get both of those right on our website. You can shop, you can buy, we ship it out to you all over the country. We're happy to help. Visit goodworkstractors.com. Now we always have projects going on around the property. Maybe you have your own similar projects coming up soon. If you do enjoy the channel, hit that subscribe button to follow along and see more. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.